My name's Jill Violet, and I'm the founder and CEO of Playworks. I grew up in Washington, D.C., and when I grew up, recess was everything. It was the most important thing that happened during my day. And I remember vividly how we would race out when the bell rang, and we'd resume the game from the day before, knowing who was on what base, what the score was. It was the defining, organizing activity of the day. In 1996, when I was meeting with a school principal in Oakland, I was shocked to find out how much recess had changed. I was listening to her describe how kids were getting in trouble every day and how they were starting to see themselves as bad kids because they couldn't really get along at recess. How her teachers found every reason under the sun to be anywhere other than recess at, during that time of the day and how it was really spilling over into the classroom. So when I thought about my own childhood and what she was describing, it occurred to me that I could make a difference, and that was how Playworks was born. We have a one-day vision that every kid in America will get to play every day, that will create an environment where there are healthy, inclusive, safe, fun chances for them to be outside and running around and making their own play happen. And we do that through both direct service and training. Our direct service model operates in low-income, urban public elementary schools, where we have a full-time person who's out on the schoolyard for every recess, supporting classroom teachers. She or he is a rock star on the playground. And they are creating opportunities for the kids to play. They're making sure the kids know the rules and operating after school and before school, making sure that kids have more and more opportunities to play. In a lot of ways, our staff people operate like the older kids in the neighborhood used to teaching the kids the rules to the game, creating expectations so that they have a fair chance to really know how to play together. You know, playing together isn't something we come into this world knowing. It's a skill that you learn along with empathy and leadership and teamwork. So we also have gone a long way towards measuring the impact of what we do. This past year, we participated in the first year of a randomized control trial with Stanford University and Mathematica, and the data came back conclusive that play where schools are more likely to have kids who are academically ready to go to school, where bullying is less likely to happen, and where we're recovering on average 24 hours of instructional time for every class. If you're going to monetize one thing in a public school, it's instructional time. And 24 hours of instructional time recovered because they're not losing it to kids fighting and bickering and bringing conflicts back in from the recess yard. That translates into roughly a 200% return on the cost of our program. Educators are looking for opportunities to make schools more conducive to learning, where they can build community. And if you look at that against the backdrop of a national situation in which we have a physical inactivity crisis, Playworks is the answer to both those things. Bringing Playworks into schools means that kids are getting to play, be physically active, take responsibility for what's going on at schools, learn conflict resolution tools, and have a good time doing it. Playworks has offices in every region across the country, and we want to grow more. The goal is to make sure that we're serving 1,000 schools through direct service every day and to be training 1,000 schools every year. And we believe that combination will make it possible for us to not only build an effective, sustainable organization, but ultimately to change the system. We want to make it possible to reach our one-day vision that every child in America gets to play every day, and this is the way to do it.